Let's go. I didn't kill him. Sure, that's what they all say. Oh, what a beautiful thing. Police! Police! There's a dead man! So, what is your relationship to the victim? Uh, I'm his brother. Do you really think I would kill my own brother? Yes, actually. The most likely suspects are usually siblings of the victim. But I didn't kill him! Wow. You would know where he works, what he does, where he is all the time, where he lives, so that just makes it so much easier for you to kill him. Doesn't mean it was me. Well then, where were you last night at 9.58pm at the time of the presumed death? Uh, I was at my apartment. And who can vouch that you were there? Uh, I was by myself. <laughs> yeah, that's very likely. Well, I'm getting tired. I'll come back tomorrow to finish the questioning. Man down on Street. I'm gonna need a team of forensic investigators. I'll check in on him in the meantime. This was found in the victim's pocket. It says, you'll regret what you did, brother. Last time I checked, he only had one brother. And look at this. I this hair was found on the victim, and it's the same color as your hair. And look at this. This blood was found on the victim, and it's the same color as your blood. And the crowning piece of evidence that proves that you're guilty is the gun that was in the bushes that is covered in your fingerprints. I have a warrant for your arrest for the murder of David Charles and his blind or back. I, I didn't do anything! Let's go! This no, it it's not even in my handwriting and this hair, even though it's the same color as mine, it's it's not the right shade. It's probably my brother's dog's hair and this blood it doesn't even make sense. If I had shot him, why would my blood be all over him? That leads to the gun, which makes even less sense. Why would I throw it into the bushes? Also, I would have worn gloves. My fingerprints wouldn't even be on it at all. Well then, if you didn't kill him, who did? I... I don't know. Someone framed me. It was... I don't know if... Who I... Maybe my brother did... I know who it is. Who? Richard Clark. Who? He was my brother's friend in high school. He... His family was really poor, so... He had to quit football and focus on academics so he could get a scholarship into college. But as my brother got the scholarship into college, Richard didn't. And he blamed this on my brother as he said he was a bad influence. Then why would he frame you for the murder? Uh, shortly after he graduated from high school, he, his parents died. And he was so poor he couldn't even buy them coffee and he couldn't get a proper burial. He, must have blamed that on my brother as well. Well, before I take your word for it, I'm gonna have to go through the evidence one last time. Come back tonight. You were right. We found Mr. Clark's fingerprints on the top of the gun. And when we cross-examined the DNA on the blood and the hair, we found out that it was Mr. Clark's and it was not your brother's dog. So, you are free to go. I, I can't. Why not? Well, if Richard had the conscience to put me in prison, he nothing would stop him from killing me once I got out. Well then what are you gonna do, just stay here forever? No, he, 
you can set a trap for him. I, well, I guess I will have to leave prison, but if you put it in the newspaper that I was let out, then that'll grab Richard's attention and you'll be able to set a trap. Okay, okay. sure. Let's try this. Let's go. It's all your brother's fault. I'll kill you for what he did. Ah! Ah! Inside of my house, I'll kill you with my bare hands. Stop! He's coming with me. Everything ah! you say can and will be used against you. Let's go. 